yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and once we have created all of our objects let's go to the service locator and we need to define all of our object over here so let's go to the first of all the data layer and let's go to the api and if you take a look on the api the dependency that we require over here so let's go on to the top we have the to do api service over here and that requires a dependency of the http client over here so let's go back over here and let's go and register some of the items that will require so get it right dot uh, i will register over here and our register i will register a singleton for this one so singleton basically means that uh, you will get the same instance of the object every time you request the that particular object so if you say get it that get the client so if you have registered it as a singleton the same object will be given to you so you should be familiar with the uh, singleton uh, pattern all right and if you are good with that then you can understand it clearly over here so what we require is the uh, CLIENT client from the HTTP make sure you import that package over here and once we have that I'll just explicitly mention that this should give us the client over here and uh, that should be good to go so once we have registered this one and uh, let's go on to our uh, let's go down over here and let's say this is for the fe80 feature what we have is the to undo for now to undo right and here uh, let's register the object that we require get it first of all and uh, then here we will register the uh, lazy singleton uh, lazy singleton means that it will only be registered or the singleton object will be uh, registered once you call it once you call this particular object that only it's going to create for you but it's not going to create when the service locator is instantiated so here what we written is the to do api service right so we require this to do api service instance and uh, you can see it requires the client over here and that should be of the client so how do we get the client is we can just say uh, get it over. it should be of the get it over here and if you want to explicitly mention over here that's also perfectly fine but we'll just make it as a get it over here and the written type for this one the type it need to look for is the service is the interface i to do api service okay so if it doesn't mention explicitly it will not be able to find that one because the implementation is of the to do api service and later on in the uh, repository over here we require the i to do service right that is the interface not the concrete class so that's why you have to make sure that you explicitly mention over here you require that particular uh, service which is of the i which is of interface over here and once we have that we also need uh, our next is the repository so here we require the uh, to do a repository over here and this one also requires the i to do a repository over here so you have to explicitly mention it over here so that it can find it later on if you go to the application layer we also require over here is the i to do repository which is the interface so that's why we have to explicitly mention that i need the interface repository when you are requesting for the uh, when when you are requesting for the i2 repository it should be able to return as the to do repository over here and over here uh, let's go down and what we need one more uh, let's create a new one we'll require a lazy singleton of our service class so if we go to the service class here we require this one right i to do service let's go and register that one i to do sorry i to do service 
and we also have to explicitly mention i to do service over here and we are good to go so here it requires the i okay so it's not the i to do it should be of a to do service and let's import that one over here and now we are good to go over here so in case that uh, you don't like this option to get it you can also explicitly mention it over here i need this particular service right so i need this one and i to uh, it requires the i to do repository over here you can explicitly mention in this way too so here you can explicitly mention i need a i to do api service over here and here it requires the uh get it uh, and it requires the client and you can also explicitly mention over here that i require this particular client over here and then you are good to go with that one so once we have registered the all of our uh, singleton which is a lazy singleton for our uh, api service repository and the to do service itself and the next step is we need to register our controller so uh, let's go down over here and let's register the uh, controller that will be of the uh, CEO to do controller right to do controller and here we need to register uh, sorry it should be of the get it dot uh, register i need to register a factory so we will be registering the factory for our controller since it is a qubit so uh, we don't want to hold that uh, controller or the state forever so uh, it's not a good practice to have a singleton but you can also register it as a singleton but i don't think that is a good way to have the singleton of your qubit sometimes you may want to destroy that particular object otherwise it is unable to destroy that object and it will keep it forever whenever you are running that application so the lifetime of that singleton will be the lifetime of your application right so we don't want to have that so let's go and have our um, we need to return the uh, first of all controller that will be of uh, what was the controller name to do controller right so to do controller over here and it requires the uh, get it over here so it requires the dependency so i'll just pass in the get it and let's pass in the type that we require so i require here is the i to do service so just copy this one and over here and make sure that you have it on the order itself right so first is need to create the api service then it need to create the repository service then it need to create the to do service before you can create the controller and can find that particular dependency if you create this one register this one on the top over here but you have registered your to do service at below it cannot find it make sure you go through the proper ordering in which you want to register your object so it can find that object on time right so once we have this we also have the another one we will register the as the factory that will be of the uh, to do add controller so let's go and add that one over here and it also requires the to do service over here and i guess that should be fine over here and uh, you can also pass in the type if you want so let's go and pass in the type of the to do controller itself if you want to pass in over here sorry uh, let's copy this one over here and let's pass in over here so in case if you need it but if you don't want that's also perfectly fine so uh that should be fine over here and let me do it for this one too and we are good to go with that one to the controller so it should return us the this one to do add controller so once we have registered all of our object over here uh, we are good to go now all of our dependencies should be um, that we have passing over here should be able to find it right so we don't have to manually create that object and pass in the dependency over here the service locator will help us to 
register all of our instance and also find the dependency and inject it for us so whenever we are registering the uh, to the api service we require a dependency of the get it uh, uh, we require a dependency of the client over here and uh, here we are using the get it to pass in that particular dependency so what we are trying to do is we are using the dependency injection and the service locator at the same time over here we are registering all of our object using the service locator pattern but we also have to inject the dependency and for that we are also um, taking the help of the credit to pass in the or to inject the dependency to all of our object over here so once we have uh, this required setup we are good to go now we can access all of this object whenever we require it so that's all for this lesson and uh, let's meet up in the uh, next lecture till then have a great day